Well, that was hard. Well, this is as far as we're going. Jeez. Far enough. Confronting decisions and shit. Oh, it sounds like a... Looks like a beautiful place to get stranded. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Yeah, he's friendly. He's a big old, big old smile. Oh, kid. I immediately regret saving your life. In a pencil skirt. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. We can't hear us. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. <laughs> Witness people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? Yeah, I witnessed it. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Ooh. <laughs> You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stand Ooh, and snap. we all end up bitten. Shut up. We it's gotta throw a, him gonna up. be a throw down Smash here. His head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Ooh, now Let's we're all chilling anything. the fuck out. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will <laughs> find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this upsetting him oh I'm upsetting him upsetting is getting eaten alive dad get it it's a big deal what if this was your daughter never would have happened she's not some snot-nosed toddler okay she's United States Air Force fuck you and her <laughs> I'm gonna kill him cat just worry about duck Lee yeah there's someone in there it's just locked keys behind the counter probably Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Ooh, throwing down. 
You are the most useless motherfucker. Get up. Oh my god. Oh, I fell. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Where the fuck are I? I'm pressing Q. What is this shit? Bit crazy with the gunfire there, lady. You okay? Just great, thanks. Intense. It's intense. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Oh, motherfucker's having a heart attack. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Oh, Behind you the want counter, some help. The pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. No, Agreed. Without good gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. That guy doesn't look like he's long for this it, world. Then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick. And I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully Damn, we're, we're in a tight, tight spot. spot. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. Isn't that He's just sweet? Work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll job. shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. <laughs> He's boss now, huh? Let's just have some conversations first. That'd be, You're that'd a be pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you <laughs> believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Well, certainly not you, man. All you do is huh? trip over uh, and nothing. shit. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. No way to look like a douche, man.
There we go. <gasps> batteries. Oh. Do you know that there are no batteries in that? Thing? Don't you feel stupid? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Then you are very, very, very useless. Somewhere in all the gun training, you forgot how to figure out double A. If I have to sacrifice somebody, it might just be her. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Of course, she is the only piece of ass. That's a valuable this commodity. Fit the radio. Great, thanks. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah. Well, I should really probably go over there and talk to her to first. Seems to herself all right. She's kind of a dick. Girl, Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Yeah, I thought so. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. <laughs> are you guys all right? <laughs> you we're know. just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over. We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad oh, really? We didn't make a choice to kill Charles. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Absolutely not the time for this shit. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? My sweet Clementine. There she is. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Yeah. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. She's like, God, you're so useless. Any word from Grim? Nothing. Is he okay? Why couldn't I have been saved yeah, by a real black man? So. You're doing a good job. Well, sit tight. Okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. I'm Lily. not sure I gave My dad's it. Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. 
everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit. Yes, I did. It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. My presence ought to help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane. So vulgar. You? you? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Don't be a dick, man. Just exit the conversation. I'm getting back to him now. Open office. Grandpa Freeman. Find anything? It's a pretty perfect tear. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' story. <laughs> oh, okay. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you Blunt. were or that you were tied to this place? No. Sticking to first names for a reason. Uh. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. So I wonder if he's innocent or not. For real. First aid kit. We'll get hands on with that motherfucker. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. How's that lucky? Oh, I get what you're saying. This door leads to the back alley. I 
better not go out there. What the hell was the point of coming in then? There we go. Oh, yeah, we equipped. What's that? This was my dad's cane. My dad's beaten stick. Just around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. See? <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. <laughs> my dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Yes, we Can okay. You made that clear. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. That are nowhere near you. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I see the door. Here we go. <laughs> Look at her little working face. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? parents do my mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer Ooh, good mad jobs. money what's your job I uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um, social studies yeah like that you didn't answer my question no <laughs> oh, astute uh, observation for... there Did all you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Hmm. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ooh. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. That is your fault, Lee. I'll find You're a your dick, Lee. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Me? That'll come in handy. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, Lee? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Starting to hear some shamblers going on. How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. <laughs> 
Let's have a look at that finger. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Really shouldn't be that hard, buddy. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. Well, That's not really. Good. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. <laughs> good. So adorable. Oh my god. Oh my god. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. No. Oh. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back. Like kill place. people, you know. <laughs> Let's go. And yeah, so ends another thrilling chapter of my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. Not really a lot in the way of zombie slaying, but hopefully next time we get to see some heads bust open. Plenty in the way of adorable Clementine, though, which is always a good thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.